Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate it. In today's video, I have been back at it, shopping my closet, trying to recreate some looks that I have found on Pinterest. And regular viewers of my channel will know that I did impose a no buy rule for myself for the month of January. So this has been a lot of fun just focusing on things that I already have, just trying to create looks that maybe I wouldn't put together on my own. So let's go ahead, we will jump right in. Let me show you these outfits that I have recreated from Pinterest. But before I go ahead and show you the first look that I'm trying to recreate, I did wanna let you know that I will always put the accounts that I have gotten the inspiration from below in the description box. I'm grateful to these ladies for putting their content out there, and if you're interested, you can go ahead and check them out as well. All right, so the first outfit that I'm gonna show you that I recreated actually started in real life with a young woman that I saw just about a week ago. She came into the store that I volunteer at. And it was just one of those overcast, just blah days that we have had so many of here in the Midwest recently. And she was wearing a pair of bright white jeans. She had a cute sweater on underneath her coat and she just looked adorable. She just looked fresh and bright and it was just like such a like unexpected thing to see when on this dreary day in the winter. And I loved it, I thought she looked great. So it got me thinking that I would like to try to wear some bright white jeans in the winter because we know that that old rule of white after Labor Day does not apply anymore. And so looking through Pinterest, this is the inspiration picture that I found. And I think this woman looks adorable. You can see that she has bright white jeans on with a beige sweater and a cute pair of booties. All right, so this is what I did to try to recreate that look. So for the white jeans, I have had these jeans that are from The Loft for many years. They are still staying nice bright white. I really like the fit of these. They're like a mid-rise straight leg. They do have the unfinished hem here at the bottom. My only complaint with these loft white jeans is that the pockets are white that you can see. But other than that, I've had these for well over seven years, so that tells you how they're holding up. So I paired these jeans with one of my favorite beige sweaters. This is a sweater that I picked up from Target last year. It's a universal thread brand. It is a cotton sweater that is just holding up beautifully. It's a great neutral sweater. It's cozy, it's comfy, I love it. So I paired the jeans with that sweater. And then on the bottom, I just put on these tote booties from Kohl's. I've mentioned that I've had really good luck with Kohl's booties in the past, and I will tell you, they, they really hold up and so comfortable. Shoes, you, you have to spend more usually when we get older and our feet just need like more support and comfort, but I will tell you that these Kohl's brand boots have served me really well. I've had really good luck with these, so these were what I paired with this outfit. I liked that look and that will be something that I would wear again and, and just kind of play around with different combinations. But I think pair, wearing a pair of white jeans in the winter is just kind of a nice, fresh, unexpected thing that just can brighten you up on one of the dreary days. All right, so for the next recreation, I'm always on the lookout for new ways to style faux leather leggings. My husband really likes these faux leather leggings, so I'm always looking for maybe date night looks that I could wear, and I think she looks fabulous in this outfit. You can see that she has the faux leather leggings on, she has some type of black cami, and a long gray duster cardigan, and she looks like she's got some kind of animal print booty. All right, so this is the look that I recreated from that inspiration look. So of course, I've got my time and true faux leather leggings. 
I've said so many times on my channel that I have the Spanx faux leather leggings, but I prefer the Time and True ones from Walmart. These are the ones I grab to wear over and over. So I have these, the faux leather leggings in black. And on the top, I am wearing this little cami from Target. This is the New Day line. This is just a great basic to have. They, are, they make really good camis, the New Day line at Target. And on top, I have put this Walmart open front cardigan in this pretty winter white color. This Walmart cardigan, I will tell you, is, is pretty much a dupe for the Barefoot Dreams sweaters. I have a Barefoot Dreams cardigan, and I will tell you this Walmart one is just as soft as that Barefoot Dreams one. So I think the winter white is pretty and that is what I paired over the cami and with the legging. And since I don't have any kind of animal print boot, I just once again put these tote booties from Kohl's. Now I will tell you that putting this outfit on and trying this all together, I'm probably not going to wear this. I just didn't feel my best in it and it's definitely not a look that I would want to wear on a date night with my husband. But that is what's fun about shopping your closet. There's no harm in trying things that maybe you would never wear. So even though this is not gonna be something I will reach for again, it's always fun to try. Okay, so here is the next inspiration outfit that I tried to recreate. And the reason that I was zoning in on this outfit over here was I was looking for ways to wear distressed jeans in just like an elevated way. And this came up. And I know that a lot of you are not gonna like this outfit at all to begin with because you don't like distressed jeans. And that is fine, I understand that. We seem to fall into two camps with the distressed jeans. Some of us that like the distressing and the ones that don't. I personally like a little bit of distressing. I'm not gonna be one of those women that wears one where my whole thigh or most of my leg is showing. That's a little too much for me. But this pair of jeans that I have from Loft, I do like, it's like just enough distressing. And I think there's something kind of fresh about wearing distressed jeans, especially for us older women. I think it's kind of a nice look to be able to embrace like a trend like distressed jeans. That is just my personal opinion. Like I said, if you don't like distressed jeans, you do you, there's no harm. No one has to wear distressed jeans if they don't want to. So in trying to recreate this look, obviously I picked out a pair of distressed jeans that I owned. These are a pair I've had from Loft for several years. And like I said, the amount of distressing on here is something I feel comfortable with. Now the top in the recreation outfit, she was wearing a striped top with puffy sleeves. I don't own anything like that, so I just pulled out this really cute top that I ordered from Amazon several months ago because I love the little puff sleeve detail on this one. But then I think what makes this look a little more elevated is pairing it with a pair of nude pumps. I think the contrast of a pair of distressed jeans with like a pump is kind of an interesting look. So that is what I paired with my recreation outfit. And then again, to be honest with you, Although I don't think there's, this is a horrible outfit, it just didn't feel like me, so I know for sure that I won't be combining this again, but once again, it's, it's just fun to play dress up, so it was good to try. Now my last outfit to recreate is this one over here, and in this outfit, I was specifically looking for more ways to wear a grandpa cardigan sweater. I'm a big fan of cardigans and I got this one from my Trendsend box back in December that I really love and was just looking for ways, maybe different ways to wear this than I would normally come up with on my own. So this was the look that I was trying to recreate and you can see she's got a cute pair of what looks like boot cut jeans on. She has a striped button down shirt under her cardigan left all open and it looks like she's got a cute pair of loafers on her feet. So this is my recreation of that outfit. So of course I've got my Ever Eve Grandpa cardigan in this really cute oatmeal. Love this sweater. This is one of my new faves, which is why I was looking for different ways to wear it. 
And I underneath it placed my thrift store men's blue and white button down. Now you're probably thinking like, Tina, how is that a stretch putting a button down underneath a cardigan sweater? Well, I probably would not have put this shirt underneath the cardigan just because this is really oversized but seeing that she had a striped shirt on in the inspiration picture i decided to give it a try and i actually think it's a really cute look and for the jeans i just pulled out this pair of jeans that i have from ann taylor that i've owned for many years but they're probably my favorite boot cut jean and then on my feet, I just pulled out my leather loafers that I got from Kohl's so many years ago. And I will tell you that since doing these Pinterest recreation looks, loafers seem to be very much in style nowadays. Now, obviously these are older, so the new ones, the heels are a little bit different, but I still like these. And it's nice that I've pulled these out and have been wearing these more frequently because I think it's good to show love to all the things that we own. So I have been wearing these a lot more recently so for this look here I do think it's a cute look it's just comfortable and casual and it's one that I probably would grab again all right so that is it friends those are the looks that I have recreated from Pinterest and if you haven't shopped your own closet in a while I encourage you to do so I think sometimes you will be surprised of things that you'd forgotten that you had. And Pinterest is such a great resource for maybe pairing things together that you wouldn't think of on your own. So once again, I want to thank you so much for spending a little bit of your time with me today. I really appreciate it. And I will see you all next time. Bye.